there is a camera feature on here that no one is talking about. And for the life of me, I just can't figure out why. Daniel here from Say Mobile TV. Today, we're going to take a look at the camera feature that you should know about, exclusive to the Galaxy S24 series. You saw it there in the intro, it is dual recording. I know there are some people that are talking about it, but I don't think there's enough chatter about how powerful of a feature this is. So today what I want to do is I want to look at what the feature replaced because it didn't just get invented out of nowhere. Samsung did upgrade a feature and replace it on the S24. Then I want to look at how you actually use it. So how you set it up, what cameras it works with, and then I want to look at the output what results it can give you, and how you can make the most of it in different situations. Let's start with what it replaced, Director's View. Director's View got introduced back with the Galaxy S21 series. It basically was a feature that allowed you to live preview all three rear cameras at once, and then make an educated guess as to which one you were going to switch to. Great. I really enjoyed it at the time. It was limited to full HD. Okay, you kind of understood at the time because... It's quite a powerful feature. You could also choose to record the front facing camera at the same time. They did upgrade it, I think with the S22, where you could actually save separate video files. So the selfie camera and the rear camera could be saved individually. I liked that because if you didn't want to have this thing imposed in the top left corner, you could move it out of there, but still save that footage. All the audio will be synced up and you've still got the feature of being able to see it in live preview tile as well. Great. But I think Samsung saw a bit of a gap and as hardware evolved and capabilities became better, Samsung could see that there was a better way to do this. Enter dual recording on the Galaxy S24 series. Okay, let's look at the things that you need to do to set this up and make this work properly. First thing is the dual recording feature sits deep in the more tab. It is right down the bottom. It's almost as if Samsung don't want you to know about it, but it's really strange because it's brand new you should want to know about it. For myself, I've moved it out of the more tab down the bottom. You can do that as well if you wish. When you click on dual recording, you get greeted with a fairly, I wouldn't say messy interface, but you definitely need to know what things are before you can start tapping and playing around with it. First thing you'll notice is on the S24 Ultra only, there is a option to choose the resolution. In the top left corner, sort of near the middle, depending on how you're holding the phone, you will have UHD or Full HD. Tapping on it will switch the resolutions around. So choose what you want. I, I choose 4K. I mean, why wouldn't you? Next to that is the little down arrows. The down arrows dictate how the videos are saved. So if you've got a single arrow, it will save a single video. So it calls it save video as previewed. What that means is as it looks on the screen is how it will save. If you've got one camera as the picture in picture and one camera in the large screen, it'll save it like that. If you tap on it, it'll save video in separate files, meaning that it's going to separate them and you'll get two video files out of it instead of just one. I always choose this one, but it's up to you. We'll go into why you would choose the other one a little bit later. Next to that is your picture in picture format or your preview format. So you can have it previewed where it's side by side. So you've got two big squares next to each other, or you can have it previewed where you've got the picture in picture. You can move that picture in picture around so it's not fixed to where it's currently sitting on the screen. Just tap on the screen and move it around and you're good to go. The last step for dual recording is down the bottom, you will see these little four squares, these tiles, just above the shutter button. When you press on that, it takes you through to the camera selection screen. Now there's instructions there to tell you to choose two lenses. So you've got options. You've got the selfie camera, you've got the ultra wide, you've got the main, and you've got the 3X telephoto. It doesn't extend out to the 5X on the Ultra, probably just for consistency across all of the models. But the fact that you can choose two of them, doesn't matter which two, is great. And you can choose which way they are previewed on the screen as well. And the way you do that is when you select the first one, it'll have be outlined, and then you select the second one, and then it puts a little sort of highlighter box right in the corner and that is the one that's going to be in the picture and picture tile and the other one will be the main preview depending on what you want to go for and what you're capturing you could do ultra wide and three times telephoto or you could do main and three times telephoto or ultra wide and main i mean it's not endless opportunity but there's at least some options there and combinations that you can make once you've chosen your format you hit okay and then you're pretty much ready to record you're good to go. Now, why would you want this? For me, the second I saw this, I immediately started running through scenarios of when I would love to have this. The first one I've already been enjoying quite a lot, and that's at my son's football training. 
Because I can sit there as a parent and sort of enjoy and allow him to be individual on the field without shouting and getting too involved. But I can also capture it from a bit closer. So I can sit there and capture the sort of wider picture. And using the telephoto, I can kind of follow him around a bit more and give him kind of both perspectives. The other way I thought about it too was at a concert. And I've recently used it at the Blink-182 concert up in Brisbane here in Australia. Again, I was near enough to the stage, but not right up to the stage. But I could capture the wider angle of the concert, but also capture what's happening on stage with a bit more finesse and get a bit closer in to the band and what they're doing. Again, it's such a great option to have that. The third scenario is just general day-to-day -day stuff. You could be out and about, and if you want to capture something like an animal or something that's happening far away, but you also still want that bigger picture, you've got both that you can capture. I haven't really found a way to incorporate the selfie and again, that's probably down to the fact I didn't use it as much for director's view. The only way I can sort of picture that is if you're always the camera person and you're never in the video, this is a way for you to capture your reaction and you talking to someone at the same time. The other alternative I can see with that as well with the dual recording is if you're recording an interview. If you're talking to someone and one person's here and one person's standing over there, that can be a way of being able to capture both faces and have the audio synced up too. Remember that, that's part of it. Now from an output perspective, this is where I really like what it does because what this allows you to have is two copies of the video, one zoomed in at 4K and one zoomed out at 4K. The audio is all synced up, so when you put them in an editing timeline, for example, you can layer them and the audio is already ready to go. And then all you need to do is cut the one out that you don't want and keep the one that you do. And then it will change the focal lengths and keep the quality at 4K. I love that part of it because it just makes editing so much easier and doesn't consume any more time. Or having to set up two different cameras at two different zoom ranges. You've got it all from the one. So that's how I think dual recording can be useful. Let me know if you've used it or if you haven't used it yet, how you can think about using it for yourself. Thanks for watching Sam Mobile TV. Make sure you subscribe for more useful tips and deep dives like this. Also come and check out our website, sammobile.com, and then come and find us on all of our socials. We are everywhere. See you in the next one. Thanks.